Tickets on board the boat for the 12 o'clock river trip. Take a seat, pay on board. Common with most rivers on the western coast of the British Isles, the River Dee at one time saw huge numbers of salmon returning regularly to spawn upstream. In 1997, for example, the salmon were so numerous during their return to the sea after spawning that some mistakenly left its principal international rowing bent only held its best regatta in 1830. Yeah, just the way there, and then next time we come on this boat, we'll see the big red boat. For the moment, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a short break in the country until the commencement of the return part of the cruise.
As a vessel turns to begin the return pass of your crew, take note of the large white building with a very long window. It is known as Carlton Villa. It was the site of a Roman villa almost 2,000 years ago, and it's still possible to see part of its base below the modern foundations. Further upstream is a stretch of water, now local to quite modern passing through the estate of the Duke of Westminster. The family's name is Grover, <coughs> and the present Duke owns some 11,000 acres here, just south of the city. His home is known as Eaton Hall, and has been a family possession since the 15th century. The original Groveners were actually kinsmen of William the Conqueror himself, and as Norman Earls, they controlled most of the land around Chester. I'm sure you will have noticed that for quite some time, we have been traveling around a long bend in the river, in the 11th century, the land on the left-hand side was actually an island, known in those days as an ayot or I, 
and was owned by the Norman Earls. When the last Earl died without an heir in 1237, the land passed to the Crown and was eventually sold off. Shortly coming into view on the right-hand side, and standing out very prominently, is the lovely church of St. Paul. Although initially built in 1830, it was comprehensively restored in 1876. some lovely Georgian buildings on the right-hand side, known as Diva Terrace, who were actually built by the Victorians. Diva was the name given to the city 2,000 years ago by the Romans, in honor of the Celtic goddess of this very same river thing on which you are now sailing. We now come to Grosvenor Park on the right-hand side. This 20-acre plot of land was given to the people of Chester in 1860 by Richard Grosvenor, second office of the city. I'm sure that many of you will be surprised to this. I was born in 1887. It's also the oldest school in Chester. The king in question was Henry Gray, and following with his king in the With the arrival of the railways in the mid-19th century, so people flocked to the city. Many of the rich people naturally chose to live in the suburbs next to the river, just like the area of Queen's Park on the left. And in 1852, a suspension bridge was built as a pedestrian link into the city. The present bridge replaced the original in 1923. Some of you may have seen or heard of Brown's department store in the city. Founded by Susanna Brown in the late 18th century, it later went on to become one of the best shops in the north of England. It was this same family who in the 1880s provided funds for necessary restoration work and the planting of the grove of lime trees, which you can see all along the right-hand side of the river. Today the area is simply known as the groves. On the left-hand side, immediately opposite the landing stage where you boarded the vessel, look out for a very large building with classical pillars. It was originally built in Neo-Georgian style in 1937 as the headquarters of the Army's Western Command. In the distance, note the old E Bridge. Built in the 14th century, it replaced a number of partly wooden structures washed away in high floods and tides. There is recent archaeological evidence that parts of its base on the downstream side are of Roman origin. A tower on the left-hand side was demolished in the 1780s. In 1826, the structure was widened for pedestrian traffic, and in 1886, tolls were finally abolished. What a glorious summer day in Chester. I hope you enjoyed my boat trip on the River Dee. If so, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see where Paul T's world will take you next time.